Single Live Broadcasting Live from the Vivid World Headquarters, because you're listening to Vivid Radio, Sirius XM, Sam and Yanira in the house. Yes. Ms. Radio Sapphire, taking your calls, 855-99-VIVID, 855-998-4843 to get on air with us live. So Mary Carey just walks out of the studio. Yeah. And she's like, I don't know who's sitting in my seat next, but there's butt sweat. Sorry. She does not even sound like that. She was like, oh, I don't know who's sitting in my seat next, but there's butt sweat. Really? Yeah. Why did I just... You're making her sound like your mother. Oh, my God. But I don't know who's <laughs> sitting in my seat, but there's butt sweat all over it. That's what you made it sound like. That's kind of what she sounded like to me. No. Uh, yeah. Not even close. Okay, well, I'm hearing shit. You anyway. are hearing shit and smelling shit. And sitting in butt sweat. Yeah. Because it's <laughs> in my seat. Hello, Yanira. Hello, Samantha. Mmm, and I'm you. Hey! Yeah? We're last on tonight. I like it. Last but not least, save the somewhat best for last. <laughs> <laughs> I just rear-ended Mary Carey. Just came up in her ass. Boom! Coming in after you. Like tough actin' to actin'. Oh, there you shit. Go. <laughs> so, Yanir's. Yes. Oh, that is just the cutest little picture of us. Look at us. Follow us at The Single Life, at Yanira Johnson, at Ms. Radio Sapphire, and at Vivid Radio SXM mm-hmm. for the Sirius XM. Cute, cute photo. Oh, gosh. Look at us of me and the Yanir's. She's busy texting, sexting. Doing what kids do these days. Do you know that it's a new addiction for teenagers? It's called vamping. Did you know there's a thing called vamping out there? I've been doing vamping since before vamping was a thing. So you've been hanging out all night long texting some dude? Going yeah. back and the forth, back and the forth, like into the wee hours, into the next day? Yeah. That's then do happened. you take selfies and Instagram them? No. In the middle of the night? No. Yeah. The, no. Well, kids these days, that's what they're doing. And kids, I mean teenagers in early 20s. Yeah. Millennials, if you will. I love the millennials. The future. Ugh. That is our future. <laughs> the future is now. Okay, so. Yeah. I came across a couple of, well, first of all, fuck all that shit. I have to tell you something, Yanira. Okay. I got fucked by a water cooler the other day. <laughs> no, for real. <laughs> I got popped in the face. <laughs> only you, I swear. Only you would get popped in the fucking face by a water cooler. Okay, so check it out. Just super quick. Mm-hmm. And if I sound all weird, it's because my jaw's all clamped up. And it's it feels like almost... Picture this in your mind. Take two screwdrivers. Pretend there's screws in your little jaw. And then tighten them to where they're too tight. And it actually starts grinding up wood all around it. You know, like when you, you know, do a screw too tight into a piece of wood and wood particles just come up because it's too fucking tight. Okay. It's like clenched, but I'm, at, I'm doing really good today. Listen to me. Yeah. Talking up a storm. The other day, I was down for the count. Do you want to know what happened to me? Yes. All right. I figure you're going to tell me since you set it up for over like four. No, let's see. Uh, no, at it's least been only 67 60 seconds. hours. 67 hours since the setup to the story. So, yeah, I'm ready to hear it. Okay. So, I was helping out a friend uh-huh. who was having a medical emergency. So, I was actually there to care for her. Uh huh. I, f- f- I, I wanted to do something good. Yeah. She needed the sparklets water jug. So, the five gallon replace, you needed to replace the five gallon bottle into the water cooler. Yes. All right. You know, the large size water dispenser. Yeah. The one that you can push the buttons and it comes out hot, cold, whatever. Hence why I said five gallon. Yeah. Yeah. A fancy one. Yeah. So it's not like I was trying to lift the five gallon water jug. I was simply just trying to remove the empty one on top of the thing. Okay. So I 
pull, nothing happens. All right. I wrap my arms around it. I'm pulling hard. Nothing happens. <laughs> now I plant my motherfucking feet around its sides, and I'm yanking and yanking. And all of a sudden, I heard a spring sprung. And this thing shoots like a bottle rocket underneath my jaw and clamps my teeth together. I fell backwards and I was like out. (laughs) For real. So I was literally out for the rest of the day. I was loaded up with little um, frozen peas, which are great if you have a physical injury because they distribute the coldness in an equal level. So I had frozen pee bags all over my face. I had like a big white towel wrapped around my head with frozen peas everywhere. And I slept for like 12 hours. (laughs) Only you could fucking hit yourself in the face. Yeah, so there you go. Here I am. All right. Happy to be sitting next to you. I'm happy that your face isn't fucked up and uh, we're talking. Yeah. So clearly all night that night I was uh, recovering. Yeah. But kids these days, all night, they're texting. Yeah. And sexting. Yeah. And Skype romancing. It doesn't sound very off of the beginning of the internet, so I'm not surprised. Yeah, but... Or alarmed, as you seem to be. The kids nowadays, I tell ya, they're always on their fucking phones. No, Get I'm- off of my house phone. I need to dial your, di- your cousin. Get off. You guys forgot about Snapchat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because I don't have that snap. Who Ugh. would want to waste time recording something that goes away? You'd be a bit surprised of how bored these kids are getting. Like, I've seen so many fucking dogs and ass pictures. Ass pictures? Yeah, it's just random asses because nobody has time. I know, but. For anything else. I just don't understand the Snapchat because just make a Vine if that's what you're going to do or make an Instagram video. But if you want the video to go away, hence why you Snapchat it. But now you can screenshot and save that shit. There you go. Be careful, children listening. And I mean you millennials, you 20-somethings and 30-somethings that think it's cool to Snapchat your junk. People can save that shit. Yeah. (laughs) I love how you're so like, oh, how dare they? Oh, it's so weird. No, I'm not saying it's weird. I'm just full of... A lot of energy today. So check it out. Yanira's. Uh-huh. So the last guy that I seriously dated, we met at a bar. On Snapchat. We were Snapchatting. No. And we met, and it was fantastic. No. Okay. We met at a bar through right. a mutual friend. Uh-huh. It was a business meeting. Uh-huh. We had so much in common. Mm-hmm. We ended up at a popular Jewish deli here in Los Angeles, yes. in Hollywood, Greenblatt's, talking Until there was not one person left. Yeah. Then we went out to the parking lot and we talked there until 4.30 in the morning, side by side, standing against his car. Yeah. Sometimes I feel the best conversations take place between the hours of 3 and 5. A.M. Mm-hmm. Then he went back because he lived long distance. Yeah. And then we started this phone FaceTime romance. Okay. I didn't really do the Skype for that scenario. And it was the first time I ever did the FaceTime. And I did the FaceTime to have, you know, cock time. Okay. Because, are you going to say something? <sighs> I'm listening. I'm like, you, you've said, I'm like, I'm like, all right. Tell me more. Tell me more. Okay. So long story short. Yes. We had this amazing romance over the phone for probably three, four weeks before I met him again. Yeah. And he would sit in his car and talk to me all night long, had no reception in his place, would go across the street in a parking lot and literally talk to me for hours. I mean, I'm pretty fascinating and all the rest of it, but for hours? Yeah. What do you guys like to do all night long? 855-99-VIVID, 855-998-4843. Oh, my goodness. Well, I could think of a lot of things to do in the middle of the night. Um, You know, trips to... I personally, I have a... This is what you like to do all night long, like 
teens texting, sexting, vamping? Well, I was going to say I have a love affair with 24-hour establishments. Anything that's 24 hours, I'm fucking there. Hence why I love, like, the 24-hour pharmacy, the motherfucking 24-hour Walmart. Well, not because it's Walmart, but because it's open 24 hours, and I get to see what people do in the middle of the night. I, as a child, I was always, I wasn't allowed to stay up past 10. And my body got used to staying up, up till 10. And before that, you know, after that, I would crash. I wouldn't stay up. But then after college... Or like when I started college, I was like, you know what? I like it. I want to stay up as long as possible. I want to see all the shit that I don't see. I want to be outside. I want to see all the shit that I don't see during the day. I want to be able to go to the store and not have to run into anybody else because everyone's asleep. So a majority Uh, of my 20s was spent up and about in the middle of the night. I like that. Yeah. That's kind of fun. Yeah. Because you're out when no one else is. Yeah. No, I don't get bothered by anybody else. I don't have to see any of the ugly motherfuckers you see during the day. Everyone's out. The freaks come out at night. It's fantastic. Me and you have spent quite a few nights up all night watching seasons of shows. Whether it was Skins. Binge watching. A lot of TV. Game of Thrones. Uh I mean, we've done like eight or nine episodes in a row. Oh, yeah. Or no, how about the same episode nine times in a row? Oh, yeah, there's that too. (laughs) 855-99-VIVID. What do you like doing all night long? Is there a sex act that you think you could do all night long? I'll tell you something. I could suck cock for hours and hours and hours. Mm -hmm. Suffice it to say, it could go all night long. Yeah. When my jaw is not, you know, in its uh, current injured state. Yeah. And even now, I could. (laughs) If I had to. If my life depended on it. Well, there you go. Lock jaw, my jaw. There you go. Lock All right. jaw, McGraw. <laughs> You're listening to the Single Life Vivid Radio Series XM. Sam Phillips, Yanira Johnson, 855-99, Vivid, 855-99-84843. Let's go to Adam, Adam in Ontario. Welcome to the Single Life. Yo, Adam. Hey, how are you guys? We are awesome. So what do you like doing all night long? Uh, well, one thing for me is I have a fetish for face sitting. Uh-huh. So I could literally have a girl like sit and lick her out like forever. What's so, the longest amount of time realistically that you have had a chick squat on your face? I've had uh, my ex squat on my face for about an hour and a half it was. That's a long time. Now, were you completely smothered yeah. to where you had barely any air? or uh, Not the entire time. It was like, like for little patches in the middle. But mm-hmm. obviously, like, you can't be like, you know, suffocated for that long. So there were like, you know, where she like eased off kind of thing and then smothered again where it was like, you know, my nose was like up in her ass. And while I was licking her pussy, so it was like... I'm like, it's either wind chimes or the ice cream man. Either way, I'm like, I want a big stick from the ice cream man. (laughs) No, it's it's the train thing by my house. All right. I like that train. (laughs) Yeah, see? So... So get all the girls to the yard. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, I love it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. So face sitting, you could do that all yeah. night long. Now, would you, yeah. could you like literally fuck all night long if, if you had to? Uh, obviously, like I could, but obviously, like, you know, there have to be like breaks and stuff. I mean, me and my current girlfriend have gone pretty much like we got home at like 11 at night. And then obviously, like we just take breaks in between every time. But we went till like four or five in the morning. Oh. So, like, just doing, like, a bunch of stuff. Uh, she had, like, playing with her toys, uh, foreplay, then, you know, like, actually fucking, and then, like, it just went on. Like, you know, it was probably the craziest night, but it was fun. And, uh, yeah. I like so, it. That sounds very hot. Yeah, it was like it was like a marathon. It's not, like... Not watching, Game of, not watching Game of Thrones, but, you know, <laughs> it works. <laughs> oh, my Adam, I have to just... Fucking say, do you do you follow that Game of Thrones? Uh, no, I don't oh. follow it too much. I, I watched I watched a couple episodes of the first season, but in, I never really caught on. You gotta keep watching, Adam. Adam, <laughs> Adam, you have to. Adam, <laughs> let me tell you something. Season three, no episode nine is okay. something else. I literally the first time I watched it. 
I was like literally in shock. The second time I watched it, I cried. Adam, <laughs> let me just tell you, don't watch anything with Sam because she will ruin it. Ruin. She will ruin it. Don't let her do it. What do you mean? You mean rewind right. it or ruin it? No, ruin. Same shit, right? Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. Such a bitch. Something She's like the that. worst. No, I am not the worst. <laughs> I like to talk, though, sometimes. I like to pause it. Oh, my God. Yes. And, and have conversations like, hey, oh, my God, can you believe it? And he me- just fucked over this one and that one. I bet you he's going to get it. Meanwhile, I'm like that's, that's what I hear like every time it's like somebody dies like every episode yes yes that's, that's, like, that's like the basic gist of the show oh my yes. it's crazy it's like stop killing people off okay and so <laughs> like I'm telling you Sam was like we'll stop and start having a conversation about what she had for breakfast what and then she's like but can you believe this and I'm like shut up I just want to watch it yeah, <laughs> but you know, yeah. that, we could do that all yeah, night long. All motherfucking night long. Yeah, no, Another true. thing. Me and, my, me and my girlfriend, we watched uh, Suits together. Uh-huh. Oh, like, yeah. Literally, like like in the middle, she'll like pause and she'll be like, so you know, this guy today at work, I was like, I, I, I don't, don't really care. No. no <laughs> like, as like, long as like, she's not in the middle of giving you a blowjob and she stops and she's like, you know, Adam, yeah. there was this guy at work today. <laughs> That's unacceptable. Yeah, like, yeah, that's uh, that's like the worst time. Yeah, no. <laughs> talk about another guy at work. Yeah, fuck all that like, shit. If, if, yeah, I just feel like if this has something to do with you're, what you're doing right now, like this is not going to end well. Ah. But anyways, <laughs> that's Adam, funny. this guy at work gave me total blowjob advice, so I'm going to implement <laughs> these tricks now. Is yeah. that all right? Yeah. yeah. Like, awesome. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I have yeah. to say yeah. one yeah. thing yeah. I can totally do all night long and no motherfucking joke. Play backgammon. I will backgammon your ass under a yep. table. Let's do it. We can play sometime. Dude, come come here to fucking Hollywood, and I'll play you. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. Do it. Okay. All right. All right. There all you right, go. Right. Thank you for the call, Adam. You're the fucking greatest. 855-99-VIVID to get on air with us. 855-998-4843. It's the Single Life Vivid Radio Sirius XM. Sam Phillips. Yanira Johnson. Yo. Yanarnia. Oh my God, there was a great Yanira joke that I came up with and I told Cousin Rue not to tell you because then I wanted to surprise you on air and then I forgot. Yeah, you do that a lot. Fuck. Oh well. Oh uh, well, I it. guess it wasn't meant to be. Uh, anyway. What sex act can you do all night long, Yanira? Um, well, like, let's see. I'm trying to remember what the, like, wow. I'm pretty... Bad. Because then once we start up, I'm like, yeah, all right. You're not stopping until you're fit. Come on. Get up. Don't be lame. I'm always like, man, this is fucking lame. Um, but no, um, I could pretty much stay up all night. It just depends on the stamina of said partner. And yeah, I've got no, no nowhere else to be. I don't have to sleep. Sleep is for chumps. Until the next day where I'm just like, fuck. Why didn't I sleep? Why didn't I sleep? Now I realized I'm like, now nah, I'm no spring chicken like I used to be in my 20s. I could stay up all night, no problem. I could stay up many nights, no problem. And now it's like, oh shit, now I feel it. If I've stayed up all night, I'm just like, fuck, I am fucked up. Oh my God, I'm fucked up. This is some bullshit. Like one day, I think I came in here and I was like really low energy and Sam's like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, shut up. Ugh. And then I was like, I finally fessed up. I was like, I've been fucking... What do you want me to say? All night long. I've been fucking all night long. What do you want me to say? Ugh. And then uh, I have this thing with number 10, which is a weird thing. Number 10 is the ex. She's only gone up to 12. No, 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 no. Yes, I've only gone up to 12, but no, number number 10 is not my ex. No, nothing. Honey. Bless his heart. Anyway, like it's one of those where it's like, hey, come over. Awesome. I'm in the mood for we're going to fool around. Nope. I know, honey. He's somebody that you hang with. Yeah. Hence the ex. They're all exes. If you've had, did you have any sexual relations with 10? Yes. He's an ex. Okay. I don't consider them a first. Therefore, they can't be an ex. Okay. There you go. Well, there you go. Well, anyway, it's one of those where it's like, all right, we're going to stay up all night. All night. And then I'm like, fuck, it's like 4 a.m. I need to lay down or something. I need to lay down or something. Nothing. Because nothing's happening. And I'm just like, I don't understand. I came over here for something. Not nothing. So, oh, oh, he tends the guy who keeps falling asleep on you. No, he doesn't fall asleep. He just doesn't do anything. Then that's nothing. That's not even a something. Then we'll start making out like at 5 in the morning. I'm just like, this is some bullshit. I'm fucking tired. Fuck. 
Like, what happened to making out at new, mid midnight, midnight 30, something? I don't know. Fuck. That's crazy shit. All okay, mm-hmm. you guys, girls, what activity do you like doing all night long? Teens these days are vamping. This is, this is what they're calling it. Uh-huh. They text by night. And they text all kinds of things all night long. Yeah. So I came across an article. Mm-hmm. Vamping. <laughs> what to do during Skype sexy times? Because okay. you know there are games that you can play mm-hmm. on Skype with your Skype paramour. There are texting cool little things that you can do with your partner. I came across two articles: one on LovePanky.com, naughty texting games to have fun all night long. Uh huh. Uh huh. And the other one is uh, uh, some cool games that you can play on the Skype. So let's go first to Joey in Burlington, Oregon. You're listening to the Single Life Vivid Radio Series XM. We're talking about what can you do all night long? What can you last at? Is it sex? Is it conversations? Is it sexting until the wee hours of the morning? Is it Skype sessions? I had a whole relationship once on Skype, just with sexy Skype a guy. That was after the, you know, Mm -hmm. the guy with the FaceTime. Yeah. Who uh, did the phone calls in the car. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So, gosh. I've had, um, I remember, this guy didn't make it to the number list, but I remember I started talking to this one guy, and he and I would have, like, marathon phone conversations. I remember one time I started talking to him around yeah, 8.30, before I knew it was, like, 6 a.m., and I was like, holy shit, and I remember because my phone kept beeping, I was like, oh shit, I should really plug it in, and then I plugged it in, and I totally forgot, because it stopped beeping, before I knew it, it was 6 a.m., and it was all starting to be light out, and I was like, holy shit, I gotta go to work. So do you guys think that a guy really likes a chick if he spends hours upon hours upon hours on the phone with them? I think so, because it's like, dude, normal, like, dudes nowadays, they don't sit there and pitch woo to you on the phone and shit, if they can get things taken care of in a text message, they will. Like, they're, they're, no one's trying to sit there and, like, pitch woo for eight hours on the phone. It's like, there's something to be said about that. Yeah, but there's phone sex. I think phone sex is way better than sexting. Sexting is a bunch of fucking words. Phone sex, you get to hear the person's voice. You get to hear moans and groans. You can't type in moan, dot, 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 and I groan, dot, dot, dot. You could if you really tried. Like, are you gonna, I know, but that's, no- that's annoying. That's, then, that, then, okay, then, now, you're, now, then you're texting. You're doing things with your fucking hands well, when you should be doing other things with your hands. Like, play with yourself. So lame. So lame. It's like, what? clearly, it's like, no. If you've ever been around in the, like, uh, the early internet, you can sit there in cyber sex all night long. Be like, hmm. Yeah. That's right. You, I'm having such a good time filleting you via the computer. Ugh. <sighs> It's so hot. Dot, dot, dot. Mmm. Now dot, we got dot, dot. emoticons for that now shit. Now you do. Emoticons, emoticons. for sexting? Yes. Have you not downloaded no. all the smiley faces for your iPhone? There's like a wet one. There's a finger banging one, technically. Like, see, she, she no. Don't even talk to her about Damn, no being Sam. on the internet all night long. You know, you know what I'm talking no. about. I'm telling you. I'm telling Isn't you. Isn't emoticons for kids? No. no. Oh, emoticons are for everyone. You literally can tell a whole story in emoticons. Yeah, I'll but send you, know you an what? entire story right now, too. Okay, yeah, but here's the thing. Mm-hmm. There's one or two stupid bitches that I don't like very much, and all they do is emoticon it up. Well, I mean, Having that's... nothing to do with you two, lovely ladies. Okay. I'm talking about other people well, that's... that just have been posting these emoticons for ages. And I'm like, find words. You're using photos, pictures. I remember, okay. Smiley faces. Now, here we go. We're going to take a throwback. Now, oh my God. I remember well, there was this one time I was on the internet with my friend Jessica, because mm. that's what I used to troll the internet with. Yes, And she had a friend in Europe, and we used to talk to this guy in the middle of the night because it was eight hours ahead. So, like, you got to be up in the middle of the night to talk to people in England. All right, cool. And so I literally, we had an emoticon party before the emoticons Wait, were a big deal. This was on MSN, okay? 
Okay, this just goes just to show you how old this is on MSN. And we literally had an emoticon party where it was just like, all right, a couple dancing. Do you want a drink? Here's a drink. Ha ha ha. We're dancing. Ha ha. It was the stupidest fucking thing, but pretty funny in retrospect. God, see, if there was an emoticon sex party, that would be much better. Yeah, you can have an emoticon sex party. That's a thing that you can have now. There you go. I'm so behind the times. Yes, very what much so. I've been telling you for me. years. I've been telling you for years. I don't get it. Let's go to Joe in Burlington, Oregon. Yes. Welcome to the Single Life, Vivid Radio, Sirius XM, Sam and Yanarnia. I'm sorry, Yanira. And Ms. Radio Sapphire, too. Hey, Joey. Welcome to the hey, show. Sam. Hi. Oh. Hey, Sam. Hi. Oh, you know, Ms. Radio Sapphire, we for sure definitely have to download a honk. An uh, air horn. An air horn. Yep. Like a there truck. is one. Do we have one? Yeah, let me let me get it. Oh, get she's it. getting it. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Always have that always have that ready for our show. Cause our trucker pals, we love these guys. And when they honk at us, I, I want to honk back. Them. You know what, motherfuckers? I there's got to be some kind of horn I can download or buy for my Hummer that makes it sound like a truck horn. So when I go buy truckers, I could horn you back. But that's not exactly you street legal. You can buy a horn to put on your car. Mm-hmm. You could. Yeah. Yeah, you can buy train horns to put on your car if you want. Mm-hmm. Holy shit! I want some horns. <laughs> Deafening <laughs> people the, on your everywhere. Here, Sam. Yeah, I want to just drive by people and horn them out and then freak them out with a horn. <laughs> That's why guys put train horns on their cars. It just totally blow their mind when they get up. You know, the little kid sticks his arm out the window and starts down like blow your horn and then the train horns go off. You never see more people freak out when that happens. Yeah. So what do you think about... Train horn. Hey, what do you think, um, Joey, about vamping? Texting all night long. And by the way, these teens that engage in this vamping uh, activity. I'm uh, sorry. Oh, oh yeah, shoot. We have to take a fucking break. Hold on. So, uh, <laughs> God bless it. Tell me what you think, and I'll tell you what I think after the fucking break. Sweet, start and sweet, Sam. This is what I think. If I can't... Uh-oh. Oh, that's okay. Hold on. <laughs> Just hang on, Joey. Just hold on, my love. Okay, I was trying to let him do his biz, Joey. but yeah, timing's bad here. Okay, <laughs> so hey, we're talking about what you like to do all night long. 855 vivid 855 I like giving blowjobs. What do you like doing? It's a single life, Vivid Radio, Sirius XM. Vivid Radio is about sex, and sex is better with another person. So tell all your friends about VividRadio.com's app. You can download it for free and get the other half of Vivid Radio that you've been missing up until now. That's right. You've been living with Radio Interruptus. VividRadio.com will solve all your uh, (laughs) issues. Follow us on Twitter at Vivid Radio SXM. Hey, you guys, welcome back to the Single Life Vivid Radio, Sirius XM, Sam Phillips, Yanira Johnson, taking all your calls until 7 p.m. on the West Coast. Yes. The West Coast! Yay! West Side! Okay, 855-99-VIVID. 855-Yeah! 998-4843. So all this hour, we're talking about what you guys like to do all night long. Is it some great sex activity? Like, I could suck cock all night long. Some people love to sext and text. It's called vamping. They do it all night into the wee hours of the morning and into the next day. Do you like to do Skype sessions? Do it under the covers. You know what I used to do all night long? Do you want to know what I used to do when I was younger? Tell me. So there was a little known TV show. People that are older might know it. People (laughs) that used to watch PBS might know it back in the day. Prisoner Cell Block H. It was an Australian soap opera. About a bunch of bitches in prison. Yeah. And 
I had never, ever seen lesbian sex, let alone on television, let alone in the fucking 70s. I think it was like the early 70s. I thought it was the greatest shit ever. So it was back when they had really tiny TVs when they first came out with them, and they had little earphones, earplugs, that you could stick into a hole like the audio hole. So I would hide under my covers, pull them over me, put my little fucking earphones in, and watch Prisoner Cell Block H... And then I was always busted by my mother who would sneak up and fucking unveil me under the covers watching a crazy, sexy Australian soap opera. That was on PBS. I'm pretty sure there's only like 13 channels back then. (laughs) Well, (laughs) the UHF. Ultra high frequency. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I like to watch things all night long. But I like to do them, too. What do you guys like to do? 855-99-VIVID, 855-998-4843. Before the break, Joey was going to tell us what he likes to do, but then we ran out of time. So let's go back to Joey. Oh, there you go, Ms. Sapphire. I love it. That was for you, Joey. Welcome to The Single Life again. Okay, Sam, as far as just texting or Skyping, or camming, or anything like that, it's, the, the Skyping is not on real time. You get the flutter just like you do on cam. It's such a turn off. I tried both of the apps. I turned them off. The audio, what do they call that, video chat, mm-hmm. same thing. It's, it's, it's off time. It's like, it's like a, watching a Chinese movie in English, you know, it's just, <laughs> Oh, it's so just, you're saying there's like a weird well. delay, but also that could be your yeah. bandwidth. That could be your internet connection. Okay. So, so that that's right there, the end of that. I'm, when I was young, my thing was that slow grind with a girl on top of me in a cowgirl position. Mm-hmm. After I got the first one out the chamber, you got to get that first one out the chamber because then then you can last a little while. <laughs> and as far as all night long, I don't think there's a man alive that can go all night long. This. This is, you know, my opinion. Maybe there are people like that, but uh, I, I could never go all night long. Maybe an hour at a time, to be honest, you know. And I, like I said, after I got that first one out the chamber, and it was always girl on top, leaning over with her tits in my face or against my chest, and that slow grind. I could do that for a while. Yeah, all I could do long, that for a while, I, too. I call shenanigans. Shit. I call shenanigans on anybody says all night long on any day. Oh, come on! <laughs> I love he's quoting you. I call shenanigans. I call fucking <laughs> shenanigans. Oh, my God. <laughs> There's no way. You can go to sleep all night long. How can you have sex all night long? Yeah, there you go. I don't know. I, I have to say, I, I have been pumped for quite a few hours. Yeah. But you do get sore. You yeah. do get dry. Yeah. You, you, you do you need to take a break. All night. Come on. I ain't pussy for 20 minutes. My jaws are killing me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, see, that always... So anybody yeah. shenanigans? No, that, I know all night long sex. See, Joey, you bring up a good point, and thank you for the call. I love you so much. You're the best. Like what Joey was just saying, he eats pussy for 20 minutes, and he gets like a, a sore jaw. Yeah. I always, I always feel bad for guys that are going down on me. The ones that seem to like it. Because I'm always like, God, doesn't it like... I don't know, doesn't it hurt them after a while? Isn't there like like a jaw injury that can happen if you're down there for too long? You got the TMJ. Yeah. Apparently, guys don't care usually. No. They you put st- a muff in their face, they're not going to care. See, I like to eat my girlfriend out for a long period of time. Like, what's the longest? I did it recently for like an hour. I didn't realize an hour went by, though. It was just good shit. Wow. See? Yeah. There you go. So good what, shit. Okay, so what, what shit. position were you in with this eating so, out? So we were she was sitting in a chair mm. and then I was on my knees mm-hmm. and I put her legs above her head mm. and I proceeded to lick the puss. Wow. Yeah. Did you do the asshole with the puss? No. Oh. No. If I do the <laughs> asshole with the puss, she likes a plug up the ass. Oh. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yes. We learn a little bit more about our coworkers every single day here on Vivid <laughs> Radio. I love this. Well, this is sex talk. We're talking about vamping after dark. Well, Hello, shit. girl. Vamping <laughs> after dark. Woo. 855-99-VIVID, 855-998-4843. It's the Single Life Vivid Radio. Sam Phillips, <laughs> Yanira Johnson, 
Ms. Radio Sapphire. Hey, follow all of us at The Single Life, at Yanira Johnson, at Ms. Radio Sa- Sapphire, and at Vivid Radio SXM. Yes. So, I just recently remembered one of my favorite things to do in the middle of the night. What? Read pornography titles. I like that. Speaking of which, um, here's a list of the movies that are playing on Vivid TV tonight. Oh, all right. My personal favorite, which is our first one that is being uh, tonight's world premiere, is Fucked with Extreme Toys. Whoa! Fucked with Extreme Toys is premiering tonight on Vivid TV, so check it out. But a, a bunch of the titles on this list are fantastic. Ready? One and only Mimi and Nico. So that's okay. We love the scandal mm-hmm. in Atlanta, kids. All choked up. Mm. And nowhere to go. Dirty hooker suck off. <gasps> mm-hmm. Come the fuck on. Pigtail teens get pounded. Oh my lord, give me a skirt. Fill her hungry hole. With some pom-poms. Okay. Jugs covered in cum. Oh, my Lord. I want to milk it. <laughs> Freaky lesbians. Aren't they all? Aren't yeah. They? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, one and only Kim Kardashian. Oh, yes. Kim Ye. Here's one I might uh, I might be interested Not in watching. Not Kim Ye. Before Kim Ye. Before oh, yeah. Kim Ye, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, granddaddy likes him young. Holy shit, how old is granddaddy? Don't forget grandpa and grandma and grandma goes lesbo. Holy shit, how old is grandma? Mm -hmm. But then again, I could be a fucking grandma. I'm 48. I just want to know, does she remove her dentures when she eats pussy? You know she sure does. You got (laughs) to. Gum it good, gum it good. (laughs) I hear from guys, though, seriously, that without the dentures in, it's great. Yeah. Oh, I'm like, I'm like, there's something to be said about toothless McGee's out there. Oh, you know, you no, can't get mad be, at them. It'd be terrible if there's only just one tooth. Toothless I Tammy. Think, I think like one or two teeth would suck. You should just have no teeth or a bunch. What about if it's like one tooth on the side? As long as it doesn't get in the way. As long as it's not going to get in the way. What if it's just this one right here? The snaggle tooth in yeah. the bottom? Yeah, there you, there you go. Pull that shit. Uh-huh. I'm like, okay, well, let me finish off the list. Gang Bang University, girl, Damn. girl, three-way fetish, 100% Ooh. real swingers, Kentucky. I wonder if there's 100% fake swingers. You know what? I mean, there could be. <laughs> and last but not least, Legends of Porn 2. Ooh. These are all of the titles that are on VividTV.com. And again, Fucked with Extreme Toys premieres tonight. So make sure to check it out. No, that's going to be massive. Mm-hmm. Major. So I asked on the Facebook, have you guys ever stayed up all night? What were you doing? Uh. Texting, Skyping, sexting, sexing. <gasps> Tell us your war story. 855-99-VIVID, 855-998-4843. Mm. Real quick, just to give you a couple of the responses, because I like to hit up my pals. Tony says several times working, watching TV, driving cross country back in my younger days, we didn't have cell phones. Mm -hmm. Michael, yes, I have texting. Yes, Skyping. Yes, sexting. Yes, sexing. Yes. Clifton, LOL, watching war documentaries, so I'm not doomed to repeat history or making a baby. There you go. Johnny, working, cleaning offices. Mm -hmm. Dinty, I often stare at the ceiling, which means I'm an optimist. Robert, Each night had varied, ranged from watching TV, net surfing, out at the bars, or spending the night with a girlfriend, which included lots of passion. Uh Uh-huh. See people stay up all night. All the time. All the time. Jazz, our girlfriend Jazz T, insomnia, so I sexted, texted, and tried out, uh, tried counting sheep. Boring, I know. (laughs) Uh, Battle Cam Saxo, it's uh, 55 a.m. in Liverpool in the U.K. Oh, so he's eight hours ahead. Midnight 55. Yes. He has three puppy Labradors pissing him off fighting over teething chews. That's what he's doing all night long. <laughs> uh, Cheryl says planning on going to the beach, I guess, all night long. <laughs> you could literally do that shit all night long. I asked my kids, where do you want to go on my birthday? And they voted the beach. How cool is that? I like it. And Prefect 23 says, drinking fucking breakfast and not always in that order. Yeah, I like that for sure. Drinking fucking breakfast and not in that order. I like it in that order. (sighs) I don't want to breakfast and then fucking drink. Mm -hmm. That's all out of order. I don't like that at all. What do you guys like? 855-99-VIVID, 855-99-84843. Let's go to... 
Um, we got Derek, Ryan, Jason, Chris. I'll go Derek, Ryan, Jason, Chris. Derek, welcome to the Single Life Vivid Radio Series XM, Sam Yanira and Ms. Radio Sapphire. Taking your call. Derek, what do you what do you like doing all night long? Derek? Oh, snap. Mm-hmm. He was probably sexting someone. Ryan in Sayreville, Tennessee. You're on the Single Life Vivid Radio Series XM. Yo, Ryan. Yeah, hi. Mine is uh, masturbating all night. All right. Hello. We didn't even mention that. That would be the natural. <laughs> ah, I'm online. Just masturbating. Um, also, thinking about breakfast. Oh, uh, yeah. You're going to masturbate Reading. thinking about breakfast? I masturbate thinking about the weirdest shit. Wait, what what do you masturbate thinking about, Ryan? And how long have you realistically masturbated for? Uh, Mine was a porn. Watching my porn video. So you like uh, watching the porn and masturbating, but what's the longest that you've had a session with your hand? About two to three hours. Oh, wow, that's a long time. Do you come more than once, or is that a really long build-up to a big pop? Um, a long build up. How many times can you come? Once you've come, uh, three or four times. Wow! All right, you must be young. Yeah, young and filled with cum. Look at Ryan. Are you done with us, or what are you doing? Taking off. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, well, keep jacking off. Hold on. We're just going to put you back on hold here. Jack away. <laughs> okay, uh, Jason in Allentown, New Jersey. Jason. Welcome to the Single hey, Life up? Vivid Radio Series Ooh. XM. Yo, Jay. What's going on? Uh, just chilling out, talking about what people like to do all night long. Hopefully it has something to do with sex. Yeah, that's... I mean, that could be an exciting topic. I mean, you could do anything all night long. Well, what do you like to do all night long? A lot of different things. I mean, but uh, but since we're on Vivid Radio, I would think you'd be referring to the nights I don't just sleep all night long. Well, yeah, I mean, let's get a little bit more creative than sleeping. I mean, do you like getting blowjobs all night long? Do you like fucking in the ass all night long? Do you like three ways all night long? Do you like, you know, squirting all night long? What? All these, all these things sound so good, but I would say, I mean, when I was, I guess when I was younger, I, uh, I did the, like, AOL thing. See? Uh, oh! Oh! Oh, my God. I mean, I, mm-hmm. I talked to people. Yeah. Okay, that was, See? Uh, so were you doing the vamping before it what became is, vamping? What is the vamping? Okay, so ch- check it out. Uh, teens these days, you know, because of Twilight and... All these retarded movies that everybody watches. I would uh, call them yeah. dumb, not retarded. Okay, yes, that was very mm-hmm. unpolitically correct. Yeah. I'm mm-hmm. so sorry. Forgive me. Shoot. Retarded people everywhere. Oh, my God, Sam. What? <laughs> Jason, I did not mean to be disrespectful. This rude, rude sore. Jason, um, no, before I mean, we start. Say it twice. <laughs> right? Um, how old are you, Jason? Just so that we okay. know what, where we're at. Yeah. He's 30. Well, I'm 23, so I'm oh. still quite young. Oh, okay. okay, he is okay. 23. All so right. some young people even have a term for it online, this staying up and texting all night long. It's vamping, a reference to those other legendary creatures of the night, thanks Twilight and True Blood. Okay. They document their uh, all-nighters by posting selfies on Instagram from bed with the hashtags, hashtag teen and hashtag vamping. Hashtag so stupid. It has nothing to do with sex. Just people that stay up all night. <laughs> it doesn't. I swear. <sighs> That's so. Uh, I'm yeah. telling you. Well, you know. Do you, you want to so, hear the craziest you know, shit? Names up for everything. Having uh, <laughs> yeah. nothing to do with anything else. You ready? What? Do yeah, it. Yeah. Okay. So I came across this article on uprocks.com. Husband sent wife a spreadsheet of the time she said no to sex. 
Whoa! Did you see the shit? That I did shit not. was hilarious. It is so fucking oh funny. God. Like a spreadsheet, straight up, yeah. like Excel, open up the spreadsheet, calculate that shit. Okay. Because there's nothing sexier than a spreadsheet. A frustrated husband Fuck kept yeah. digital track of every time his wife denied him loving sex with excuses ranging from, I have to be up early to, I'm watching the show. The show being a friend's hey, there's, rerun. <laughs> there's nothing sexy about a wife that denies sex. No shit. So check it out. Oh my God, Yanira. Look, geez. The date was six. So it was June 3rd, 2014. So it says the date in one column, column A. Column B, it says sex, yes or no. And excuses, column C. The date starts at <laughs> June 3rd, 2014. It goes to July 16th, 2014. In the sex column, no, 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 yes, no, 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 yes, no, 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 yes, no, no, no. He sounds like me keeping fucking spreadsheets, this guy. These are the excuses. I'm watching the show, Friends Rerun. I feel sweaty and gross. I need a shower. Didn't shower until next morning. The one on the sixth was nonverbal. The one on the ninth was, I'm exhausted. Then there's a yes with no excuse. Uh, then the next day is, I'm still a bit tender from yesterday. The next day was nonverbal. <laughs> the next one is, I'm trying to watch the movie. Fell asleep 15 minutes later. Next one, I'm too drunk and I ate too much. Next one, <laughs> I won't have time to get showered and ready for dinner. We were 20 minutes early. Next one, I just came back from the gym. I feel gross. Didn't shower until the next morning. Next one's nonverbal. Next one is I have to be up early. Nonverbal. Then there was a yes. Then there's you're too drunk. I feel gross. I'm not feeling good. I ate too much. I'm sweaty and gross. And Dude, I'm tired. This bitch needs to knock it off with I the fucking be getting I'm sweaty sick. and gross. I still don't feel 100%. I need a shower. I feel gross. I'm too tired. No. I'm watching my show. <laughs> fucking friends reruns. Okay. Come the fuck on. Listen. Dude, this, this bitch, bitch was my away wife. The dick. Mm-hmm. And this bitch mm-hmm. was my wife. I'd be keeping track. And I'd be, I'd be, I'd be asking her to pay me money for the days that she didn't fuck me, because clearly I'm out making a living so she could fucking eat with a roof over her head. Well, that was very manly of me. Very misogynistic. Yeah. But, you know what can you do? I love ladies. It's the way but, you feel. But I mean, I would get of, really irritated with her too, and I would totally keep track, of, just like this out guy of did. A month and a half, she says yes to sex one, three, two, two three, times. three motherfucking times. That's it. Like, uh, uh-uh. uh, get it's, the fuck out of town. Good to keep track. Now it's even good to keep now track. even if I wasn't fucking my man, I'd be blowing him at least. Jason, you're the motherfucking best. Thank you for the call. Thank you, Jason. Yeah. No, he doesn't even say. It's just flat up no and yes, but no's clearly outweigh the yeses. All right. That was just, you know, I found that interesting. I just thought, hey, ladies listening, put the fuck out. Seriously. Something. Your you man know? needs to. Th- okay, there's these things called the balls. And they hold this stuff called sperm. And unless this sperm comes out of the tip of the dick, which is out of a urethra. You mean semen? Same shit. <laughs> it's the white stuff with the little swimming guys. Semen. They need, yeah. They need to release. They need to get out. They need to be free. If you do not free your man's semen, he will go crazy. Oh, my God. This reminds me of a conversation my mother had with me when I was a young child. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. So one day she tells me, I think I was hanging out with a friend who used to belong to her friend. And he was a boy. And she's like, I don't like you hanging out playing video games and I'm like okay can you explain why because we're just literally we're just playing fucking all stars that's how we're playing oh it's because boys are different I'm like meaning mind you I'm an only child I'm a girl I've been held down by all these things all right anyway oh yeah I don't like it because you know boys you know when they get to a certain age they have needs and these needs need to be Met. released. Mm. And I'm like, okay, so you mean they can just run around and do whatever the fuck they want and I have to sit here and do dishes? That's what that means? Well, no, not like that. I'm like, that's exactly what you said. 
But, okay, you know. so hang on. So your mother advised you to take care of your man's needs. I no, think that's she, amazing. She did not. This was not my man. This kid belonged to her friend. No, no, no. And we were just I, playing video games. No, but no, she's no, no. just like, oh no, that's, boys no, that's, need to be released, okay. and they all need to do these things. Not underneath a legal age. Uh-huh. No boys underneath a, a legal age need to be released by a lady. <laughs> but, but yeah. But what she's saying is, you yeah. need to take care of your man. Yeah, no, not it, it, yes. girl. We're not talking about childs having sex. No, we're not talking about yes. that. We're not talking well, about that's that. Why but... I'm moving it on and saying yes. Overall, she's saying yes. There you go. There you go. No, Phil, fulfill needs at a time that's appropriate. Yes. At an age that's appropriate. Okay. Chris in Pittsburgh, California. Welcome to the Single Life Vivid Radio, Sirius XM, Yanira Johnson, Sam Phillips, Ms. Radio Sapphire, taking your calls. Welcome to the show. Hi, Chris. Hi, how are you doing? Uh, We are Mm -hmm. awesome. What do you like doing all night long? I love to. I enjoy sex. (sighs) Uh, I love eating pussy. Can you really eat pussy all night? Yeah, the longest I went was like three and a half hours. And it didn't hurt your jaw? No, I enjoy it. I like the pussy juice. I like the taste of pussy juice. Um, I just enjoy it. Now, were you getting face squatted? Were you just laying down and this pussy was on top of you? Or were you, like, on your on your elbows all in visiting the Y? Yeah, I was in my elbows, face, you know, face yeah. on the pussy. See, that, I would just think after a while, the jaw would get tired. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I just, like, I just loved it, and... You know, it feels so good, and I'm actually jacking off right now. Ooh, I like that. Well, you just keep on jacking off. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm about to come. Oh, come. Come for us. Come on over. Come now. Uh, uh, That's right, Chris. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Chris. That, that sounds very hot. Oh, my gosh, that felt so good. Oh, good. Yeah. Thank you so much. We aim to please here on The Single Life. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Joe, in California, what do you like doing all night long? Do you like coming? Ooh, depends on the night. What? Depends on the night. Oh. Depends on the night. Come on. <laughs> well, give me an average <laughs> night. What do you do on an average night that, that lasts you all night long? Does it last me all night long, or what I like to do all night long? Splitting hairs. You tell me anything that you like to do all night long, preferably if it has to do with sex. Well, so let's go with masturbating um i much rather prefer getting fucked all night long yeah <laughs> but see oh, yeah. we don't have penises if i had a penis and if you never had a penis we would just play with it all night long would you I not feel like it would be out all the time it would be like rubbing against shit she I would really... be arrested for indecent exposure no it wouldn't be like that <laughs> honey but... you would you would have your cock out all the time Okay, now you're making me out to be some weirdo with my cock out. No, I think that it would come out when it needs to come out, but I would fucking wreck chicks. That is for certain. I would be <laughs> balls deep up in chicks all the time. Thanks, Joe. All of the time. Balls deep into Jillian. Yo, Jillian, welcome to the Single Life Vivid Radio Series XM. Sam and Yanira. Hi, Jillian. Or is it Julian? It says Jillian. Jillian? Hello? Hello? There you go. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, it's probably Julian. Hi, how are you? All we right. are the greatest, and uh, what do you like doing all night long? I, uh, I like rimming guys. Ooh, me too. Can you really do it all night? Absolutely. <sighs> what about rimming do you like? Oh. Oh. Dude, I mean, like, anyone licks your asshole feels super awesome, so if you're into that... I feel like he was, like, building us up and just let us down. Yeah. Also, doesn't your jaw hurt when you suck dick a long time? Yes. So then you power power through it, don't you? I do. So that's the same thing with the vagina licking. You guys kind of power through it. I know, but you can... There's certain positions that you can assume to make it a lot easier on the mouth. (laughs) I'm just saying. I'm like, TMJ is a problem for everyone. So you can get the lock jaw sucking the dick or sucking the pussy. Let's go. 
Yeah, let's go to Reggie in Illinois. Reggie. Welcome to the Single Life Vivid Radio Series XM. Reg? Yes. Hey, so do you do this vamping, this sexting, texting, Skyping all night long? Can you sit on the phone and chat with ladies all night for hours? Or do you just like to lick pussy all night long? Yeah, mixing pussy is good as well as fucking as well. So kind of a combination of both. I love it. Yeah. All right. Well, we appreciate you weighing in. You're the greatest. Thank you so much. Thank you, Reggie. Mm. Wow. By the way, Yanira. Yeah. So after that husband sent the wife the spreadsheet of the time she said no to sex. Yeah. Did she put out finally? This bitch? Uh, I don't really know. We need a follow up on it. But on BuzzFeed.com. I haven't been on BuzzFeed in days. Okay. In response to the man who emailed his wife a spreadsheet detailing the time she had refused to have sex with him, another man has shared his own spreadsheet. Well, if we're we're sharing spreadsheets, then look out. I'm going through my documents. I'm sharing some shit. Okay, so check it out. This guy started July 1st to July 20th. Date, had sex, reason of any. Had sex. Yes, 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 yes. On the 20th, it said no. And then it says reason of any. You made a fucking spreadsheet about it? There you go. There you go. All right, it's The Single Life, you guys. Follow us at The Single Life, at Yanira Johnson. Thanks so much, Vivid Radio, Sirius XM. Love you guys. See you next week.